the feeling is really good, you know, it's, um, I know the team, I know the car. Last year it was very exciting to start the first first uh, rally and I remember I was a bit nervous with the many, many things. But my mind, I'm completely relaxed. I'm, I'm actually looking forward, I really want to start the season. My feeling is, I want to see how now the little fine tunings, what I have done in the test with the car and how it works in the rally and how it is with the performance. You drive in the mountains uh, in very high conditions. Uh, you can go over one kilometer over, or even over two kilometers. And when you are in the, almost in the sea level and you look, sun is shining and you look, what kind of tires I should take, ah, I take the slicks. But then you start to climb one kilometer up to two kilometers. Suddenly you start to have snow and ice. And if you have to drive with the slick tire, you think about the summer tire you drive on the snow and even on the roads, how difficult it is. It's the same situation with the rally car, and then you are on the competition. And then also in the mountains, you have you turn it, you are driving some places where the sun is shining, and then you turn into the valleys where the sun stops shining, you go to the shadow. And the shadow it might be even colder temperature, and then even even ice or snow after after the dry tarmac. And then these Grip level changes are so massive that they make it difficult this, this rally Monte Carlo. But if it's let's say quite dry or a little bit wet, then it's it's a lot easier over there. The Monte Carlo rally, it's uh, it's a rally where I have done not so well in the past. I have had a, especially 2012, 2013. I have had accidents, and then when you when you don't get any points and you go to the next rally it's so much pressure to try to get the results you almost have to win next three to be to be able to fight in the championship so i've said to myself top 5 get through the monte carlo get the points then it gives a lot less pressure on the next events and there you can fight and you can push harder but the monte carlo is that the fact is when you start the push over there it's so easy to make the mistake there's many changes in the championship now. Uh, Hyundai is coming up, coming with new drivers. Ford has new drivers. Citroen has new drivers. Volkswagen is the only team which has the old drivers. And that's why I still believe Sebastian Ocher is the man with, to target for, for many drivers. And if you can beat him, you are very high in the championship. But so my target this year is to try to challenge him and try to beat him in some of the rallies. And then we will see where we are at the end of the year. But Anyway, we need to also remember that we want to defend our Manufacturers Championship from 2013.